in-flight entertainment with a difference. No meals, no movies, but a live concert at 30,000 feet. The budget airline is staging 20 performances this month with free plane tickets for the one voted most popular. 250 bands applied for the gig last week alone, desperate to take to the airwaves. I'm doing it because it's an adventure. I've never sung 10,000 meters above the earth before. It's very unusual and I'm really curious to see how it feels. To be flying as a bird and to be singing while flying, that's fascinating. The passengers don't actually know about the live concerts before they get on board, so a warm welcome's not guaranteed. But heavy metal and punk rock are deliberately not allowed for that reason. Having said that, though, the next performer, well, is what you might call unorthodox. Boris Golik sings backwards. The undressing is to show it's not faked. These actions are all impossible in reverse. But the singing isn't. You may not recognize it yet, but listen to this. The Russian national anthem, word perfect, sung backwards. I liked it very much. It was great. First time I've ever seen anything like it. It was no inconvenience at all. On the contrary, it made the flight more fun. The sound was a bit too low for us sitting near the back. It would be good to have some songs for older people too. The stage was set after the airline removed seats to escape customs duty on aircraft with over 170 spaces. While it saves over a million dollars a month, it leaves a gap to be filled. We've uh, regarded this as, as an opportunity to bring the fun back into flying. Uh, we're looking at clowns, we're looking at face painting, uh, we're looking at jugglers. As long as it's safe, as long as it's entertaining and as long as uh, it fits our brand image, then we're, we're happy to promote this sort of entertainment. That brand image was spelt out in this racy advert last year. Bikini-clad women cleaning the plane provoked the sort of controversy the airline courts. This new idea may not be the Mile High Club, but the feedback's overwhelmingly positive. Ivor Bennett, Primetime Russia, RT.